that. Hello. Hello. Are we there? Hello. Yet? I don't know. Usually they. You're close. There we go. Attention. One, two, three. Attention. One, oh two, gosh. three. Oh no. <laughs> okay, cool. Yay! Oh no. Drama. Push pop. Hello, chat. Hello. What? You don't want to be make your debut on chat? I gotta. I've done that already. Oh yeah. No, Nick. No, he Nick. Took, took... Nick, say hello. Hello. He okay, bye. Goodbye. He did a whole a whole stream the other day. Did he? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I don't I think he was like it. talking, but he was like working. Okay, oh, chat. I missed it. So here's the thing, okay? Yes, Push Pop is very cute. She's on the move. She's been exploring. She's the best. Um, yeah, she's speedy. She does some laps every day. Um, she took 501 just resubscribed for six months. Thank you for Thank you for the resub. Uh, we have to go feed uh, some kiddos real quick. We do. And... Oh, cool. She's already up. We thought that perhaps you guys could babysit Push Pop for us. Right, fast. Can you be the babysitter? We're going to put down some food for her so you can watch her eat. We will have a mic for you to listen. And maybe you can hear the Push Pop noms. All right, let's see if we can make this work. All right, chat. Oh, I just want to. Uh, we have tried to introduce Push Pop to a brush. We do not know how she feels about it yet. Uh, <laughs> debatable. Yep. OK, chat, here's the deal. OK, we're going to attach the microphone so you can potentially hear, hear some noms. All right. Hear the noms. I'm going to show you her food. We're gonna get our attention okay. attached. And hopefully, she won't uh, tip this up on herself. <laughs> we'll, we'll hang out for a hot minute before we, before we leave. Look at that. Ignore the fact that it's got powder on it. It's calcium. It's calcium powder. It's supposed to be there. Okay. Let's see how she does. Hey, Push Pop. Miss Bam, do you know? Do you know what this is? Oh yeah, she knows. You gonna come this way? Come on, ma'am. Over here, I know you can see it. I know you can. We've started introducing Push Pop to the Target chat. This way. Take your this way. This way. There it is. On. Come on. Sight has been engaged. She's cruising. You will also notice that Push Pop has a no. white smile. No, <laughs> it's a reason. This way. <laughs> got, got distracted. We got her back. She's cruising. <laughs> Can you target? You're amazing. Good job. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't oh. mean to spook you. <laughs> we gotta make sure this is gonna stay up. You need to change the... How? Oh, oh, oh there oh, we go. Yeah, we figured it out. All right, chat. All right, chat. It's a target. All right. I want... Oh, I hear munches. All right, chat, are you happy? Is this a good position? With the view. Oh, she's tipping, she's tipping. That's okay, it shouldn't tip so much that chat can't see her. Can you hear the munches? Is this view okay, chat, for us to leave you with push pop? I don't think it can go lower. Hello. I don't know. I don't think it will. Without changing the angle. Oh, 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 bird's eye. We did it. 
That's all you get. <laughs> Not really ASMR. Let's see, Jack. I think she might be a little bit afraid of this. Yeah. That was a good crunch. That's a good crunch. You can just see her trying to eat. I was, <laughs> I was wondering if maybe we should be worried. Is there a way to put it on her? I'm sorry. Can we attach it to the table? Nope. 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 As long as it's up there, it's fine. There. Nope. There. Um, okay, so push pop today, chat. Do you need to? Do you need to? Are you just admiring push pop? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so push pop's salad. She does have a big salad. I don't expect that she'll eat it all. Um, so, um, so her salad today, she has a tiny little bit of romaine. It's not the greatest lettuce for her. She gets a small bit of romaine. We mix it in with her hay uh, to encourage her to eat more. So there's actually more greens underneath her hay. Connor's calling me for some reason. These ones here are dandelion greens. Yum. And then she's got some endive in here. And these little, these little chopped up bits are zucchini and squash. Yellow squash. Our tortoise is good about not overeating. I have read that they're actually very easy to overfeed. This is my thing about push pop right now. Chat, uh, she has not been to the vet for her intake physical yet. Um, but um, she is not gaining weight. So I would like her to gain some weight. <laughs> She's coming this way. What if I put this here? How do I make this stand? Nope. Stand. Nope. It's, I think that the plate itself is correct. God damn it. I don't think you're going to get it. <laughs> ah, that's all I want. We're scaring push pop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> let it, just let it sit. He just wants him to get the ASMR. Um, her weight right now is about 1,150 grams. Is he all good? Yeah, I think he's just fucking good there. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like... It's eight hours ahead. It's four in the morning. Or is it? Maybe of course he's still up. Maybe I'll give him a quick call while we're going out to pee. Yeah, that's fine. She's how old? She's four years old. I think she's quite small. But it's very difficult to get solid information for how big sulcatas should be in captivity because... Um... We need freedom units. Uh, what's 1,150 divided by 454? Mm -hmm. Say again. 1,150. 2.64 pounds. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. Don't forget that they have yeah, their place. Um, do tortoises eat only plant-based food? Um, she, she, sulcatas are... They, they're omnivores. omnivores. But, like, omnivores. everything... That I have read diet wise says that under no circumstances does she need any animal protein whatsoever. No. They have been documented eating meat in the wild. Will we feed it to her? Most likely not. Oh, yeah, one kick is about 2.2 .2 pounds. Oh. I also know that. Dum dum. Okay. Okay. Um, so she's not going to get any animal uh, protein from us. She will occasionally get fruit. Their growth really depends on UVB and diet. She's going to get huge fast when she's outside. Yes, um, that's mostly, that's kind of the vibe that I got. And I also read that um, it can also have a lot to do with the humidity their first year because they're, they hatch during the rainy season. Um, so humidity plays a big role in their, in their carapace shape and their shell. Um, Connor's on track. Connor! I'm going to call you in a sec. Um... They're one of those species that will take an opportunity to eat animal protein occasionally, but it's not their usual thing. Yeah, and there's no like, you like started something. Like, there's no need for her to eat it. She's there's, she, she yeah. No. She doesn't need it. She's not gonna get it from us. She was on a diet of much much more fruit before she came here, and she has had no fruit. Well, I guess if you count zucchini and yellow squash, but no strawberries, no blueberries, no apple. <laughs> she hasn't had her typical. 
Um, but she does great with her greens, which is really nice. Yes. She loves it. It's nice. Limited sugar, yeah. I did, yeah, I did read a lot about how it's easy to overfeed a tortoise. Um, I don't know how you would know if they were overweight. That's something I need to talk um, to the vet about. I think um, you can potentially get fat pockets and the, like, loose bit. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Like here and, like, down. Where they would, legs. like, expand. You would see it because, obviously, yeah. the shell. Um, I'm trying to remember this from, like, four years ago. So... Polly and Pushpop have been out together. Yeah, um, but yeah, like I said, right now, chat, my main concern is that she's not putting on any weight. So, and I, I would, I would like her to. Did the goat party not give you a newfound love for goats? Oh, that was so the opposite of that. A good crunch. It is a good crunch. She gets fed twice a day, chat, and usually what we try to do is we give her access to the food for about an hour. And then if she doesn't eat, we take it out. But usually she's done eating within that hour. Do you guys hear that? For the little hair. She's got feelings. Rude. At what age do they tend to reach their full size? Long time, chat. Long time. They can live. 15 to 25 years or something like that. Yeah. Their lifespan is like what? 80? 80? Long like time. 80 years? 90 years? A long time. How's the enclosure going? Hmm. Slowly. Hmm. <laughs> Good grab, Pushpop. Oh, she almost had it. Good bit of She's dandelion. Good bit of dandelion there. 90% done. Um, she's, that, yes. she's not been around any of the reptiles because we want to keep her separate from them for at least 30 days. Has not been 30 days. Has not been. Switch position. Push pop, I'm gonna just move this. Carry on. <laughs> uh, Toast can get out of the playpen that we have. She has been pooping every day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. just a little turd and it's quite easy to pick up her urates on the other hand can kind of get all mushy are you all done red. all done that's so nice mickey time you can hold on it's just kind of funny because we're here um what? i wouldn't say she's completely comfortable with us um, but she's comfortable, like, exploring around us. To be fair, I don't think we said it yet. <laughs> oh, she's gone. There she goes. She's going to the target. <laughs> she's going to the target. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. She's like, but target. What are those spikes on her arm for? Defense. Defense and to dig. And to dig. But yeah, so chat, when she gets nervous, she tucks those arms inside, and then it's only her spurs. Yeah. 
that you can see yep. when she gets nervous. They are digging machines. She's sideways. <laughs> she knows what target means. She does understand the target trap. Sorry. No. She's a very busy tortoise. She really gets around, chat. Like if we leave her out, she does she gets she gets some laughs in. Poppy Animal Quest whenever Maya gets back. She's curious about the cam. Her enclosure is far from being ready, chat. Not at all. I would make it, I would say it's what, it may be generously 15% done. I don't know. No, I'd say it's closer to 30. Yeah, because the hard, the hard part's done. The hard like, part's done. Yeah, done. the concrete's done. Well, and then like the, in, the inside area, that's almost done. Oh, yeah. Power again, the power run, then we know we run through click and then getting. Where's this thing gonna go? Yeah, 90% not done. Where's one thing? Isn't there supposed to be a sink in there? A sink? I don't. I, not that I know of. I don't think so. I wish I remember sitting the board first to make sure that it's gonna be one. I don't know where anything's gonna go, storage wise. Shelves. All the shelves. Uh, the grass is orchard hay. She actually does a pretty good job with her hay. She eats it. Yeah, she does. She gets there. They sell Bermuda hay at Tractor Supply in 50 pound <laughs> bales. Oh and I was like, oh. We do need to feed the others. We do. You want me to babysit? Any kind, any idea of what the bite strength will be? I don't know what her bite strength will be. I know that I don't want to get bit by her ever. How high is the new enclosure going to be? I don't know what I'm allowed to say, chat. What new enclosure? <laughs> Push pops? High enough that you can't climb out of it. I, I get a couple. Sorry, push pop. Oh, yeah, no, chat. When we say that she gets around, we are not kidding. She is actually quite Like, fast. she does laps in the nut house. Uh, space has been taken care of. Bagel Bite, Bella, and Mab, and Mushy Man. Are the spikes on her legs sharp?
When does Push Pops flight training begin? Hmm. I mean, I think she's already there, chat. Like I said, she cruises. The spikes in nature would be for defense and digging. So, like, when she gets nervous, she'll tuck her head in and she'll pull her legs across, and then there's just spikes. Oh, if you can see her little feet, she's pretty cute. Look at her little feet. I only feed the goats when I have to, chat. These guys live up to 80 years. Do we have everything ready to go to feed everybody else? Okay. Sorry, chat. I got distracted. Who feeds Connor? Connor feeds Connor. At what age are they considered full grown? I, I've read between 15 and 25 years. Would tortoises ever need a friend? I think I read that Sulcaldas do better. Don't they do better by themselves, Lindsay? They're not, like... Males do. Males do. Oh, sorry, chat. Um, she's currently eating some orchard hay, uh, some dandelion greens, some endive, a tiny bit of romaine, and some zucchini and some yellow squash. I don't think she knows her name is Pushpop. Yeah, I'm so happy she was taken care of well enough before coming here that she doesn't really have the bad peer meeting they get if they don't get enough UBB. UBB. Yeah. Um, I was really worried um, when we initially got her because I, I don't have experience about the peer meeting thing. Um, so that is, uh, I'm also glad that she seems to be doing okay. We have her UVB lights for her indoor space, I think, all situated. We haven't put them up yet, but we know what she needs, which is nice. Um, there she goes. She's cruising. Look at all that space underneath that shell, guys. She's crushing it. She gets around. She's cruising. Bye, Push Pop. Gotta go to the bathroom. She's cruising. <laughs> <laughs> She's just standing in front of things. <laughs> Push Bob. 
Friend. I haven't turned on that computer in a while. It's been doing that for at least We usually months. we've just been using my laptop to do our notes at the end of the day and it wasn't working when it was turned on. So it worked for a little while. Did it? Yeah. yeah. To actually like use Animal Care? Yeah. I use Google Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, my knees. I've not had any luck with the brush. No. Sorry, push up. We tried. Maybe someday. That's all we want. Oh, I didn't know there was more chat. I was just like stuck. Man, that's a door. That is shut. Sorry, chat. I think I scrolled up and then I didn't realize I had to scroll back down. So I haven't seen <laughs> any of what you said. <laughs> My bad. Okay. All right. It's fine. It's fine. We're not letting her in the bathroom. The bathroom's dirty. She's not going in there. I don't know how much more I can elaborate on pyramiding other than it's a shell deformity from lack of like just it's it's I mean it's pretty much entirely husbandry. It's it's just a combination of bad things. UVB, humidity, diet. Um, but essentially, like when you're looking at her shell, correct me if I'm wrong. The top of her shell is called the carapace, right? And then all of those little bits, like all of the little bits are scoots. And so essentially the parts that are already raised just would be like dramatically raised. Will she get a pool? Um, she will have a little pad with some water in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know some turtles can spread salmonella if you're not careful about washing your hands after touching them. Are tortoises the same way? Lindsay, do you know the answer to that? What? Uh, that some turtles, um, you have to be careful touching them because they can spread salmonella. Are tortoises the same way? I've not read anything about that, but that doesn't mean that it's not true. I <laughs> know. She does not have a small pool. She has a, a water tub in the nut house, like in her enclosure. <laughs> she has a small water tub. We could try giving her a bigger one and seeing how she feels about it. But no, does not have a, a pool in here. Tico took a cute bath today. That's so nice. If Push Pop is female, she will lay eggs. Yes. Is she friends with the rodents? She has not been out with any of the any of the rodents. No. Right She's now. Only been out with, uh, Polly. Right now, this is her enrichment chat. We don't have a ton of space to offer her much in her enclosure. <laughs> not right now. Um, when she has a bigger enclosure, we absolutely um, will have more enrichment for her. Um, yeah, right now she gets a lot of exploring, and we also take her outside from yeah, time to time. Like
Will she grow as big as those tubs? Yes. Yes. They don't have a smell. Not going to lie. She's getting her steps in for the day. She is. She is. Um, we actually have... Um, just trying to learn about her. I, I say I think every time I see her out and about, I'm like, I don't know if she's a little bit stressed walking around or if she's just exploring. And then every time I say that, Ella's like, I mean, I think if she was stressed, she would just be hiding. So, so yes. she's not afraid of approaching us. Like, she's walked over my feet before. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as, like, intentional interaction, the most that we've really done is introduce the target to her and feed her. We haven't tried to actively be in her space very much. We've just kind of let her explore. She has been outside. Yeah, she is very active. <laughs> when I read a lot online, there's also a lot online about like just like at what age they're considered adults. Um, Reed does pace when he's stressed, but I don't know if tortoises would have the same reaction. Like Reed is a predator, not I guess. Eh, I mean, they're predator and prey, so it it makes more sense for his species that he would pace instead yeah. of like but shut they're down. Also, uh, they're more flighty. Like foxes are flighty. Yeah. Tortoises Fight or flight wise, because yeah. they can't get away fast, they're yeah. more likely to their defense mechanism tuck in. Is their whole like, is their shell. That's why so. they have those spurs. Does she eat bugs? I'm sure if she came across a dead bug, she would eat it off the ground. And I say that only because we've watched her try to eat the poop spots that we've cleaned off the ground. I don't know if she would know what it is. <laughs> yes. Tico's bathed before. It's just nice. A bathing is one of those behaviors that indicates that she's taking care of herself, so it's nice to see them bathe. Self-care. I mean, she's comfy. She's comfortable being wet, which means she's not anticipating that she's going to have to make a break for it. Just Yeah, it just means that she feels comfortable in the space. So it's nice. Some birds really like being misted. They really enjoy it. It depends on the individual. I would actually really, really love for all of the birds to enjoy misting infinitely more than they do. <laughs> it would be so nice to be able to just like hose them down in the summer. Stompy loves it. I would love all of them to love it as much as Stompy. She's looking for a push pop. Why do some birds take dust baths and others water? Do some do both? I actually don't know if there are species that do both. Elvis did. Elvis did? Yeah. Kara Kara. Kara Kara is, we worked with the Kara Kara that did both. So there's definitely birds, or yeah, birds that do both. I've never seen the chickens actively take a water bath, but I've seen them take dust baths. Yeah, they take dust baths for parasites. Um, but as far as the birds that I've worked with, in terms of, uh, like, Lindsay and I have both worked with a lot of birds of prey, the only one that I've ever seen do both was the Crested Caracara. Did Bonita do? Did she ever have access to dust? I don't know. I mean, they didn't need access to dust. They just needed the floor in the... <laughs> She's trouble. Caracaras are very smart. Yes, they are. Look at that leg. So you're going to get into trouble over there, ma'am. Don't be the first time. <laughs> Tinchillas also take dust baths because their They're fur is too yeah. dense. Yeah, and they would stay wet and they would mold. Mold and perhaps face. get hypothermia. Their face is more white. 
She's cruising. Oh. <laughs> there she goes. She's bottom heavy. Water is all, yeah, water is riskier because of a lot of birds, if they get soaking wet, it's harder for them to fly away. Mind the gap. <laughs> We're putting that somewhere in her enclosure. Yes. I've decided. Mind the gap. It's getting put in there. Someone make it's a excellent. sign for Pushbox enclosure. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. And watch your feet. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, we lost her. Right now. Don't wheel yourself around. I'm over. Oh, she's getting cruised in. Oh, she's getting cruised in. Oh, she's getting cruised in. She's cruised in. She's cruised in. She's not shy. She gone. <laughs> She's in there. So a bird taking a water bath is a sign of it being very comfortable, I'd assume. Yeah, yes. that's one of the behaviors that we look for that indicates that a bird is comfortable. A screwdriver? Now she's just sitting in the corner. Push pop, you good? Push pop, I'm out. She's in there. That's her spot. She loves it there. Oh my gosh. Speaking of wheels, if you put push pop on a little skateboard, she rolls out. She's going to make good use of that large enclosure. Yeah, she definitely is. Miss mm -hmm. yes, Ma'am. Hello. It's cozy. Oh, is there another rat? Oh, I see another nose. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Have these rat rats ever boggled? I had somebody tell me once on chat that they were boggling, but it's very hard for me to tell. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Their eyes do this crazy thing. Oh, when they poke out? Yeah. It's excited. Jens. Yeah, we'll get push pop put up in a in a hot minute, um, and then we can go out and feed everybody. Where's it, Jen? Is it Jen? Give it up. I'm gonna touch him. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Give us a minute. That's gonna fall. I'm gonna give the chins some sticks to chew on. Nope, nope, you gotta stay in there. <laughs> Lots to stay in there, my friend. Would you like a stick to chew on? I don't want them to come out, Jack, because we've got push pop out, so. Let's see. Sorry for the view chat. Trying to do this with one hand. There we go. Okay. 
friends. Friends. Hello. Did you come up? Oh, I did. Do you stick? <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Apple sticks. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> A scratch. A scratch. This is Moomin. Moomin's a boy. That's Snork. Snork's a lady. They're different sizes. They chew everything. Do you want to see the biggest reason to not have them as pets? Here, I'll show it to you. I'll show you several reasons. Yep. One. Right here, this one. Yeah, Moomin's bigger, and he also has a water face, and he also likes scritches. The wall, reason number two. Where is it? <laughs> Cords. Also, our fridge no longer works because they ate the cord. So this is not plugged in anymore, but they chewed through it. Hooray. Uh, this. Yeah. Also the other <laughs> Also this. Yeah. So you know what? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Spare yourself. <laughs> Spare yourself. <laughs> Yeah, they don't, um, like, I would say, like, uh, the rats are way more, like, gregarious, I think, than the chins are. Like, they're very outgoing and very curious. The chins have definitely taken time to warm up to us. Um, so, yeah. Just admire these chinchillas. <laughs> Is Pushpop still over in that corner? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's, let's go get push pop. <laughs> yeah, give her a little scoop. We'll put her up. So we can go feed everybody else because it's already 4.40 and we haven't finished anybody. Yeah, and I... I got a book waiting for me at home. Push pop! Hi. Yeah, you got some, some fluff on her face. She's not going to let me get it, but it's okay. Oh, that was better. Oh, there we go. You did so good. You handled that so well. All right. This enclosure drives me crazy. There you go, sweet pea. There you go. All right, chat, sorry. We're going. How'd that go for us? Leaving you to babysit Push Pop. Did not work. 
chewing. Moomin's chewing on something that is not the apple stick. Why? <laughs> we did a great job, in my opinion. You did do a great job. <laughs> okay. Are we ready to go see some monkeys? <laughs> Do we want to do uh They did chew the camera that was in their enclosure. That's true. That is the thing the chinchillas did. They are delightful that way. Oh, Push pop. She's hanging out. All right. All right, we've got one of two options. One of us can go feed everybody, and the other one of us can take you guys to the reptile room. Or you can come with us. We can feed everybody real quick, and then go to the reptile room. Decide. Do you want to be just reptiles, or do you want to If you come with us, you got to risk the camera potentially dying. <laughs> Uh, the thing in Push Pop's enclosure is um, a hide. But she likes to climb and fall off of it. Because she has fallen off of it. Well. Chat, do you want to hear a really devastating story? <laughs> it's really only devastating for me, Ella, and Lindsay. Yeah, it's it's the dumpster story. Um, oh. <laughs> the woes of animal care. Okay. You when you hear it. Yeah. Okay. So chat. The dumpster's been full for a while because the new enclosure they've been clearing out like stumps and trees and whatnot, right? So they've filled up the dumpster and the new dumpster came today and I was really excited about it because when the dumpster gets full it means that we have to scoop the poop into the wheelbarrow and then also scoop the poop out of the wheelbarrow into the dumpster instead of just taking the whole wheelbarrow and just dumping it in the dumpster. Um, so we've been doing that, the double scoop, for a little while and it's exhausting and tiring and it sucks when it's like 80 degrees outside, it blows, nobody likes it. So we were really excited about the new dumpster and then today the uh, contractor that's working on the new enclosure uh, hijacked our dumpster and <laughs> took the new one and put it up by the new enclosure. So now we have no dumpster to put the pasture poop in. So now on top of double scooping it, we also have to walk it up the big hill to this dumpster. That is a thing. That is a thing. The UTV sucks to muck with. I will die on this hill. <laughs> Muck with the I know, that's actually what we talked about this morning. We, we were going to probably do that tomorrow. Muck like with the, um, like the little attachment and then attach it to the UV, U, um, UTV. UTV down there and then drive it up. But it's still well, we'll extra time. The thing is, we're still going to have to scoop it a second time we, yeah. into the Which is really the part that full. sucks. Well, it'll be, uh, <laughs> coming uh, Thursday or Friday. Mm, 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 down there. So this is the downside to working at Alvaeus. Technically, we didn't decide that. It's the upside because it's up this giant hill. Yeah, but we did not <laughs> decide that. You work here, they don't. So you can tell them to pick. <laughs> Do you want to tell David that? Sure. <laughs> nice he guy. is too nice. I don't want to. Yeah, he is, he is want... a very nice guy. Chat. There's one more nut house animal that we haven't said hi to yet today. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. Liar. Hold on. Hold on. There she is. Holly! <laughs> Holly Pocket. What 
we had to cope her today. It was a traumatic day for Polly. It was. I just realized I haven't eaten today. How long have you been awake? Maybe you should go eat. Polly is such a delightful chicken. It's almost 6 p.m.? Have no. you been awake since the morning? When I would die. I would up? never I make it. I would have already been died. All right, let's go I feed died. everybody. Okay. Everything should be right there. And then we'll come back and we'll yeah. Ooh. hit the reptiles. I'm gonna go do laundry really fast. All right, and then we're gonna go feed everybody. BRB. Stream days are long days, chat. Is there anything on this computer that's like no, because for the longest time, I was just using my laptop as the, like, that was the computer, and I just attached it to that, so everything is on my laptop. Okay, so if I wipe it, it's You're fine. Have at it. Have at it. Okay. All right. I made a quesadilla pizza thing for dinner. That sounds delightful. I'm probably going to make some Trader Joe's noodles and veggies for dinner. They have like these little noodle packets that are just like soy and sesame sauce. And then I just roast a bunch of veggies and just throw them in there. And then I air fry some plant-based chicken and I throw that in there. And it's tasty. I love pasta. Yesterday at Trader Joe's. Uh, no, I'm not going to feed Connor. He's not here. Ma'am. Ma'am. Uh. Polly. Hi. I don't think Connor's hurting for food. He keeps sending me pictures of delicious looking Greek food, and I'm very jealous. Can Polly see? Yes. And I can prove it to you. <laughs> Hold on. This might go terribly wrong. But I'm going to try to prove it to you. Yeah. By offering Polly her favorite food. Sweet potato. Here we go. Don't cut without a cutting board. That's dumb. Oh, sorry. She's already gotten started. She's doing a great job. Okay. All right. It's falling on all the things. Hold on, chat. Watch this. Polly's doing a great job recently. What? Polly, she's doing great. Okay. Do you guys see Polly? Here, do you want a bite? Very nice, great job. Polly, do you wanna show chat how you can step up? It's amazing. Ready? Can you come step up? <laughs> Almost overshot. <laughs> the noises. Here? You're amazing. Well done. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> there you go. Proof. Polly can see. <laughs> As she follows. Is a little shadow. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Grab your banana pouch. Polly is very sweet. She's doing a great job with her step ups. You can like stand up and walk around with her too. I'm doing a cheer in my head. What are you talking about? Doing a cheer for my little high school, elementary school days. Oh, I should bring this. Oh no! I dumped it. Not the marm food. I dumped the marm no. food. I 
hate it when I accidentally dump no, the marm food. I'm it is so literally mad. like because it's so crumply, and I'm always like, ah! <laughs> fucking goddamn okay. it. The new staff member won't be here till April. Why am I like this to myself? Could I get a lone chicken as a pet? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't you see do why you couldn't. You want, technically. I wouldn't. I don't think you really but know what it is. That's just me. Stuff. Chickens are gross, guys. I'm just saying. They're disgusting. Like, chick like, Polly's super cute, but when I tell you that her poop smells so bad, it smells, I mean, it smells it smel so bad. Do you not see the smear marks? It's not on as bad as Winnie's. But chickens have a lot of different types of poop that are all normal, and some of them are really gross. So, you know. Most of them are really gross. <laughs> okay, if you wouldn't, I won't consider it. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Okay, do you want to. First of all, where is this chicken going? Second of all, do you plan to properly take care of it by giving it all the scratch, all the produce, all the room to roam, a nice, cool slash warm place to sleep at night. I mean, I think they said what that it the would be- What is the temperatures of the surrounding That it area? would be inside and then have the opportunity to go outside. Look, it's gonna live inside? Absolutely this, not. The wheelbarrow. I know, I know people who have chickens as pets and keep them inside and they put diapers on their chickens. I don't, I don't think I would do that. Do you want to put a diaper on your chicken? Cause I don't. I would get a cat. <laughs> cat, cat, get a cat. If you're thinking about getting an animal, get a cat. I recently asked Connor if we should get Bones a kitten and I think he was like, are you crazy? And I was like, hey, it's fine. Did the banana get knocked down? Oh no! Oh my gosh, no! As soon as I'm done that with That would school, be so devastating. No! no! What happened? Which one of you is oh, to blame? Oh no! It broke! No, not the banana. But I plan on getting a cat in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Well, maybe not in the next couple of weeks. Okay. In the next couple of weeks, I'll be actively looking for a cat. Chat, I'm really upset about the banana tree. This is so sad. I should put it in the vestibule. Keep it safe from the monkeys. But it needs to be outside. Yeah, like in there, in that vestibule. Oh! Hi! Yeah, boys. I totally forgot that was the thing. This is so sad. All right. Hi, boys! Which? Not banan. <laughs> is it like Denda? It's is like, no. It's like legit, like bent. No. Like Ella, Ella, can we ace bent? <laughs> can we vet wrap the banana tree? Need splits. <laughs> I need a. Spl I need two pieces of wood and a piece of cloth. <laughs> Ella. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, which one of you did this? Oh, Momo, you're the best. He's getting weight already. You're so good. Excuse you. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I need this one to be better. There it goes. Nope. nope. 420 for Momo. What a guy. Wow. All right, can we switch? Momo! Can we switch? These, this banana's been out for way too long. They may not even want it. Momo! There we go. Momo! Momo, that's a camera. Technology, look at his little tongue. Momo, you're fine. You don't need to go over there. You're over here. Come Momo. On. All the way up, Papa. Good. Momo. You're gonna have to reach because I am short. Papa's 322. Oh, good, he went up. That's a good job, Papa. That's very nice. Relief, yeah. he went up. Hi, Momo. 322. I can't reach. I am short. Do you wanna you come say tall. hi to chat? You gotta come to me. We gotta, we gotta meet halfway. We're gonna. This relationship needs some two-way streets. Two-way street. Come Papa's on. Papa's coming over. Careful. I'm trying. I cannot reach. 
have weights on both of them, so don't feel like you gotta do anything crazy. We try to weigh them arms almost every day because they're so little. Um, I dropped it! Any like significant weight change could definitely indicate something. Oh, I don't know where that went. Something wrong, so. It they is. get weighed, I would say, at least five days a week. Minimum. At least. This is kind of mushy. Yeah, right. boys. It's a boys. It's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Good job, boys. I don't know where the rest of it went. Are you hungry? We feed them twice a day, chat. Bloofies. I don't know if you guys have seen that. They get fed in the morning and in the afternoon. I'm gonna take this. Um, because their metabolism is so fast. No in it, and that's gross. It's empty. Um, we it's actually empty. would like for them to have way more plants in their enclosure. The banana tree, hopefully, will go where this pot is. That's the plan. It just <laughs> needs to be big enough to put in the ground. Uh, it's taking forever. My it's, plan is to hopefully have this enclosure be like a mix of like natural and artificial. Um, the hard part about having plants in here is that if we have too many like plants and trees, it's gonna be really, really hard to see them. Um, Let's go inside. So, uh, but we, I would like them to have way more plants and way more like natural perches and branches and stuff like that. It's not the entire backside of the teardrop, but it is a large enclosure chat. Look at this sad banana. Lindsay stood it up pretty well. She propped it up. Maybe it'll heal itself. I don't know anything about plants. I might put it in there, but I have to go unlock the outside. Maybe get a bigger bananas. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Connor picked this one up. Ella's better with plants than I am. So I'm not gonna leak the mystery ambassadors. I can't, I cannot be responsible for that. Boys, what are you doing? Are you hungry? I like this one here. Oh. Nope, wrong. You guys can guess all you want and I'm just not going to respond to any of your guesses. <laughs> Um, food is up, as is enrichment. Food is up, as is enrichment. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, anything that we put in any of the enclosures, we will definitely extensively research before we do so. Goodbye. Oh, hi! Monkey on the ground. What are you doing? You wanna come in? You can go in there, mama. Ah. You can, if you want. Oh, he's in! He's so brave! Come on in! That's the scale, you know the scale. Wow, it's brave. You probably shouldn't get too comfortable in the vestibule, but it's fine. You wanna go this way? Oh my gosh, brave. Will the coral tank have fish in it too? Yes. Yes. Lindsay says yes. Species to be determined. One species is confirmed. Species TBD. Small species to be determined. Big Small species, species TBD. I also need to figure out what corals are going in it. Do you wanna go? Where do you wanna go? This is so brave. The marmosets are extremely good climbers, guys. We're just gonna block that door. <laughs> Appa, feeling brave? Your hood's inside. Um, I think there's just kind of a move towards having more natural looking enclosures and it's kind of nice. Um, as long as they have plenty of stuff to move around on and plenty of like substrates that are appropriate for their size and species, I don't think it per like it matters whether they're artificial or natural. Um, I think aesthetically, natural is just prettier. It helps with their like natural like behaviors. Their yeah. behaviors, their comfort, yeah. their health. Wow, so big, amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Please be careful. Please don't pee on that. 
Isn't it a rule that all saltwater tanks have to have a Finding Nemo fish? No. <laughs> no. So which enclosures are connected by that room? So this just leads, so this is their vestibule. Somebody asked earlier what a vestibule is. A vestibule is basically a space that like, if we come in through this door, we know the animals won't be here. So there's no risk of them escaping through this door. There he goes, he's going home. He's thinking about it. You can do it. Um, so typically the animals aren't amazing. in here. Amazing, he's gone. He's amazing. Um, You're so brave. So this vestibule, this is their outside space. You and that is their inside space. So we have access to both inside and outside from this vestibule, like an yes. airlock. Yes. Lindsay is getting a whale shark enclosure, isn't she? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, 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 we don't wish. I we don't wish. wish. We don't need I a wish. whale shark. No. I wish. I wish. Absolutely not. We can be the second, we can be the second facility that has them in North America. Monkey. Please be careful. All right, are we ready to go see the crows? Yes. What's in the cupboard? Um, so this, I'm so the, door. the marmoset right. enclosure is specifically set up right. because they are primates, that if they ever needed to be quarantined, there's like hookups for everything that we could need in this space. Yes. So like if we needed to have like their own washer and dryer for any reason, it would go here. Yep. They have we their own have sink, like they have blankets. blankets. We've got gloves and masks in case any of us feel sick. Yeah. Um, because it's easy for them to get sick yeah. and things that are just They're like holds to us can be pretty dangerous separate. for them. Um, so everything in here is just kind of their own little no, stuff. This one, this one just has ant traps. Yeah. But we can just extra more, storage space. Yeah. We can put more, like if we do so. end up putting a washer dryer, this is where stuff can go. Yep, yep, yep. So anyway, yep, that's uh, the marmot set enclosure and why. All right, we're going to the crows. Oh, ah, oh. no! <laughs> oh, it's stuck under there. Ah, no. No. Well, the fox stuff got wet, that's fine. The fox stuff is already wet. So is the crow stuff. No, this fox stuff. Oh, that's fine. They're gonna shred it. I don't care. They're not gonna give a shit. <laughs> I want them to have nice, pristine, pretty things. I cannot tell you how much I think the foxes do not care. I care about how pretty their things are. I care. <laughs> uh, yes, we are reinforcing the floor for the tank. It's already it is actually already reinforced. It's already done. I smell gas. And there's our dumpster. Yep. It is full. <laughs> There's push pops enclosure. So it's 90% it's, done. It's the same percent done that it was before Connor left for Greece. Do oh, not head headbutt me. I will end you. She just came running up. Why are you chat. here? No, that happened to me last week. She just like appeared out of nowhere and just ran herself into That's my leg. Freaking existence of um, beetle comes in and just destroy. Do not. So yeah, it's push pop. Do not. I, what did I just say? I don't care. Beetle's a monster. All right. All right. Why? I don't think we, we won't take you guys Why are the you the worst they've animal got, in the world? They've, they've got enough going on, chat. Go just, away. All that I smell right now is cedar. Get the fuck away. All right, chat. We're just going to leave you here. Because... I'd like to try to weigh coconut. I don't know if he'll come down or not, but we'll see. I hate you. Go away. Just a way day for the burbs. The hatred I have toward that goat. I, I stand by. Yeah. I, she is the worst one. Uh, there's kibble in there if you need some. Oh, yes, I do. I got Hi, the boys. The hatred of beetle. I know that it's a little scary. I don't like her. You don't have to come down. She doesn't but like But I'm hoping you will. She doesn't like anybody. Wanna come down? Is worst. You can do it. Can you come to your platform? <laughs> no. Did you weigh out it? No. Neither of them come down. Okay. It's very noisy today. It's very noisy. Abbott, good job. Very nice. Can you come here? 
Amazing. You're okay. Good job, coconut. We're gonna let coconut. Okay. Abbott, can you get wing? Abbott? We probably can do uh here. Abbott. That's scary. This is how I weighed them the other day that it was like this. Abbott! Beep, 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 Abbott! <gasps> Abbott! 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 My hand smells like goat now. Hey, oh, I smell like hey, goat and I don't like it. Hi! <gasps> I okay. know. I know. That's fair. Wall needs cleaned, but I wasn't gonna do it today. Go, go. Okay. I don't understand why being out there is better. Doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't think it is. Oh, I got his weight yesterday, so. Can you come down? Add it. Can you Coconut. Here? Amazing. Here you go. Coconut. One more. Amazing. Good job. Can Very you spin? nice. Oh my god. Pick what you want. No, I know. What do you think? I know. Machinery is scary. It's loud. I lost Abbott. This is terrible placement. Hmm. Terrible placement. Nothing we can do about it. They're right next door. You could do it. Coconut? Perch? You could do it. Perch? No, not today. It was 424 yesterday. Abbott? Abbott? Coconut? Very nice. It's okay. Good. Do you think you could come down? Perch? Good job, buddy. That's very brave. Good. Do you think you could come down here? I have it. No. Would you like to come here? Not quite. Have it. Coconut. Perch. Do you think you can come down here? Platform? Coconut? Good. Sorry, chat. I'm a little distracted. everything else.
Boys, 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 boys. I yield. It's probably for the best. I don't think they'll be coming down anytime soon, but no. they should be almost done for the day. Should be. Should be almost done for the day. It is 5.15. Yeah. All right, chat. We're moving on. Coconut came down to the perch a couple times. Let's go. I'll take that. It's just off again. My bad. Just hang it from things. I think that was my goal. I put all my stuff out there. Oh, shit, you're right. Only the most important bits, pieces of everything. They need that. They do. Release all the goats in Meyer's house. I don't think they'd all fit. Too many goats. Too many goats, too many big goats. What makes the crows unreleasable? Are they hurt or are they just so socialized they can't survive? A little bit of both. Um, okay. Abbott's very much a human imprint. Um, so when he came into rehab, he was very young. And I don't think there was ever a chance that he was gonna be releasable. Birds imprint very easily, especially very intelligent birds um, like crows and vultures. Um, so Typically, two of us go into the crow enclosure. Today, it might have been best to try one, but I don't think there was much of a chance that they were going to come down anyway. So, uh, we'll just try again tomorrow. And we just make, just try to reinforce them as much as they can if they're willing to take food with the scary noise around. Um, and then we move on. <laughs> so, uh, please don't. Thank but you. Coconut does have an injury as well. Um, and he please was don't. not really treated like he was going to be non releasable, so he's much more scared than you. Abbott. Please don't. Why are you like this? Please don't. Stop that. Stop it. Do yeah, you ever I mean, second guess whether or not you closed an enclosure correctly? I feel like I would always be worried. When I tell you always. that I have literally spent... literally the number one anxiety and thinking <laughs> thing for every zookeeper. I think it adds at least an extra, like, 30 minutes to every day of my work. I will walk back and make sure that I have locked it. I stopped unlocking the feed stall in the pasture because I was so sure that I would leave it unlocked. Hi, bud. <laughs> Excuse. 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 How's the construction on the new enclosure going? It's going. It's loud all the time. It's very loud. I'm over it. Yeah. I think everybody up here is over it. I am over it. I am over it and I'm not even a part of it. Hi. I gotta do a little video for Connor later. I'm okay. gonna put the camera over here so that it's facing away from everything. That's fine. So. Sit down. Oh. Hi, do you okay. wanna work with me today? Okay, I don't know what you guys can see. I know that they can see you, so that's nice. Can you Ow. Sit? Ow. Can I touch? Do you just have to not acknowledge Beetle and they don't attack? No, Beetle no. will attack you even if you do not acknowledge her. Sit. Oh, don't oh, the phone. What, what are you doing? <laughs> you broke the dog. Why are you like this? <laughs> oh, no. did he bite it? Yeah, he did. Is there just, a crack? Just the glass like cover. Okay, good. Reed just tried to bite you guys. He tried to eat you. Puff. Puff. Good. Why are you like this? What was it? What? Why are you eating things? That's technology. <laughs> what was the point, Reed? <laughs> Truly, what was the point? All right. All right. Sit. We'll just put Sit. this here. Good. Touch. Good. Reed can eat me. That's okay. He's a brave boy. Touch. Yeah, something like that. It's a pain. Have we lost hope oh. for new grass in here? <laughs> Maybe. I think we have. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Watch where you're you going. Sit. sit. Good. Do you guys want to see the air that Reed gets when he <gasps> jumps? He jumps super tall. Can you Do sit? Can Do you jump? Food. Let me touch. <laughs> that was a baby jump. Hi. Can you sit? Good boy. Thank you, you jump? for letting me get that. Good job. <laughs> Jump. 
that was a good one. That was a good hop. That was a good hop, wasn't it? Yeah. Face. Come over here. Can you sit? You can over here. Let me touch. touch. Good job. Look a boy. How about a paw? That's very nice. Chew your food. That's very nice. You, you can't take that one. Good. You gotta chew your food, sir. Good boy. You touch. gotta chew your food. Good. Sit. Good. Touch. Pinch. Amazing. Sit. Thank you for coming closer touch. than ever. Here's another piece. I am now muddied. Thank you. Good. <coughs> chew your food. Good. Touch. Paw. Touch. <laughs> Are you Good. smelling the camera? Can Good. I have your paw? Good. Good. You dropped a piece. I don't know where you it went. Want to get this one? I don't know where it went. Good job. I'm not even sticking the face down there, though. Good job. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you for your paw. Thank you. <laughs> chew your food. You gotta chew your food, so sir. So nice. Sit. Can you sit? Good. It's hard to touch you from this angle with the camera Paw. in my lap so that you can't Paw. take it. Touch. Good. Touch. Good. Ears. Up. Good. Good boy. Yeah, Good boy. Nose, sir. You're much, much thicker than that one. Paw. This way. Touch. Thank you. Good. Can you spin. <laughs> you can. Uh, the, fox are, the foxes are Spin. masters at just digging things up. Paw. Spin. Yeah, do my paw. Touch. Oh, I did it once already. Good. Spin. <laughs> Spin. Uh, Reed can't run away with the camera Spin. right now because I currently Spin. have it wedged um, <laughs> in such a way that he cannot <laughs> yep. uh, sit. Good job. Such a good jump. Would you like to be up close? I'm trying oh, to. Oh, snack. I'm trying. Where's oh, a snack? I'm trying. A snack. <laughs> Sit. A snack? Good. Spin. Ah, you did it. You can have the rest. Then learn to spin. Uh, no, this is his natural coloring. I dropped a lot of it, like. and I don't know where it went. You good boy. <laughs> oh, that's a lie. I found another piece. Why are you so perfect? Huh? Why are you so perfect? Um, no, the foxes have never um, tried to bite us. Finn has tried to sneak food. Watch, he can spin. Uh, Reed occasionally spin. will, like, try to tug on pants. <laughs> spin. To, he did spin, like, twice now. Spin. He's a good boy. You ate all. You ate all the bits. I just have, like... Your mouth looks very good. <laughs> Angel. Angel. That's all I got. That's all we got. My hand itches because of the... Uh, foxes make a lot of different vocalizations. They make up to 20? Yeah, it's a lot. And none of them are like what you would... Maybe like one or two of them are ones that you would expect. <laughs> But they make like a lot of like screeching type sounds and screaming type sounds that are from a low, unsettling. Like, growl to a high yip. Yeah, so it's a lot. Do there they watch so Twitch? Many of chicken on the ground, sir. I can't believe you took you tried to take the phone. Why are you I can't like this? He broke it. I mean, he didn't put any holes in the phone, <laughs> just the glass covering. Would you guys like your enrichment? Reed, why don't you chat? Did you want to say hi? Ones. Did you want to say hi? Finn, come back. I'm sorry. Are the foxes comfortable painting? Not yet. This is not likely going to be, to be the year that you get paintings from the foxes. I would like to add some ambassadors that we have not had paintings from little by little um, so that we can keep the art auction very exciting from year to year. So the foxes are not on the slate at all for this year. I am sorry to make you sad. Finn actually is is way less jiggly than he was. <laughs> I'm so excited. 
you don't see um, this. I don't know why they don't vocalize as much. They, for every once in a while you hear that. When they're really excited um, and they know we're in with the Excuse crows, you, we've heard them vocalize. Um, boop. But, yeah, they definitely... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I made yours extra long. Why does Reed do laps? Um, sometimes Reed paces because I think he gets a little nervous. Um, but right now, it's very understandable. Um, and he's come a really long way. Like even if you, I, I, I don't, at the risk of anthropomorphizing, even like the look on Reed's face when interacting with us has changed. And I would imagine that people who have seen Reed from the beginning know exactly what I mean. <laughs> ah, there's a hole. <laughs> Please don't break an ankle. Uh, yeah, Ow. any wild animals that come by, definitely also a reason that he would pace. So like during seasons when, also like when wild foxes are like breeding or something like that may cause him to be oh, more. Oh, do you see Ella? <laughs> like, even that face, even though he's, like, sitting and I know that it's something that he's less Reed. sure of, his face is different. Are you going to be smart? No. Bye, Ella! There she goes. Go get your food. Are you gonna climb the tree like Finn? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we can take the strings back. I'm gonna with take us. the string now <laughs> and the paper. <laughs> You're just running with your box. I can't believe he hasn't dropped it yet and just let Finn take it. Usually he drops it. Usually he folds. These dens are wild. Some of them have collapsed. Oh, peeing on his box. So nice. Okay, well. That's a decision. Reed, go that way. Carry on, Reed. Thank you. All right. We'll take this with us. It's a long pee there, Finn. That's gross. I just want you to know. It's a very long pee. <laughs> He's really, yeah. <laughs> Still going. It's, There's uh, a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> I did the Falconer's knot on it. I just grabbed it. <laughs> I saw. Bye, Reed. He slowed down. He's over there working on it. I moved out of the way. Does that taste good? You're gross. Don't get foxes as pets. Pea-flavored is the best flavor Pea for flavored foxes. Pea-flavored snacks. So nice. They okay. love it. All right, chat. I'm trying to get back to the nut house without um, leaking anything. That's the goal. There's a truck over there. She's going to point it at the ground. Point it at the ground. Locked? Locked. Locked. Chat has locked. our witness. I locked the lock. The lock is locked. Bye, Finn! Mmm, pea flavored. Pea flavored snacks. Bye, Reed! Have fun! Look at all that open space. It's crazy. It looks so weird. There is a lot going on, chat. Expansion! Growing. Lots of things happening. Plenty just leaked from Finn. You're not wrong. <laughs> what? Plenty just leaked from Finn. Yep. Not wrong. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Poor crows. Poor things. Watch the van. Yeah, uh, they're just pointing at the ground. Need to see a monkey. I don't know if the monkeys are out. They might be in.
Oh, there's a monkey in the distance. Oh, Ella fixed it. She did. Ella, Ella gave them, there's Momo over there. Do you see him? Tiny Bean. Is he coming over to say hi? Hi, Momo. How you doing? Cindy boy. Look at Ella gave the banana a steak so hopefully it heals. Okay. All right. We ride. We walk. Whatever. Where's Beetle? Did Nick successfully call them back? I think. I see one. I see two. Oh. I loathe Beetle. All right. Cool. The truck has a license plate. Awesome. Okay. Our license plate cover. Awesome. I'm not going to bring that over until they're done for the day. Yeah. No, there's no point. I hope they come Thursday or Friday. All right, guys, it's reptile time. Don't even. Fuck Don't off, Beetle. Even. Fuck off. She's Force field. so mean. Force field. Tripper's nice, though. Hi, Tripper. Tripper's nice. She likes scritches. It brings me joy. This is good goat. It's good goat. Does not want scritches right now. Tripper, do you Fuck want a scritch? Fuck off, beetle. Pee -wee? Force field. Yeah, you guys can see noodle. It's goat scritches. Hi, Kylie. Hi, Get Kylie. This goat is mean. Good goat. Good goat. Good That's goat. a good goat. Look at it. She's loving that scritch. Spot. Did I get that spot? She loves it. Did I get that spot? Don't be rude. Yeah, you guys can love Beetle because you only see her from a, the comfort of your home or wherever rude. you watch. What has he ever done from. to you? That's not nice. Kylie's really no. mean to the other goats. She's very she nice to us. She does not like the littles, and I don't mean. know why. Monster. They've never done anything nice. to her. Mean. Y'all are gross. Walk on. Excuse me. Scoot. Excuse. For once, you're being walking? polite. Shocking. Please. Beetle! It's fine. I'll get there eventually. Fuck off. We think Beetle is sweet There's and Winnie smells good. Here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Fixing things? Yeah, yeah. Space to the rescue. Space Again. to the rescue. Push pop, comfy. Always. Here's I am space. confused about this decision. What are you doing? <laughs> Why is that on top of you? She's having a great time. All right. We're about to leave space. Yep, she's good in there. <laughs> okay. okay. My pouch was like barely hanging on there. All right, wash hands, then reptiles. Ah, oh, yes, must do. Cause kibble. Must do, must do, must do, must do, must do, must do. Nope. Yep. Yep. Distraction. I don't remember what that's from. All right. I'm gonna bring a little bowl for betadine for toast. We can check on Patchy too. momentarily. I'm just gonna wash the pouches right quick. Did somebody ask about our degrees? What? 
I have a degree in biology. So does Connor. Lindsay also has a degree in biology. And she's getting her master's. I am. I'll be in done. Conservation of marine predators and coral conservation. Yep. It's conservation of marine predators and coral reef conservation and aquaculture? Uh, I do not know what degree space has. I don't remember what the coral reef one is. I should but look that up. Space is a wizard, so. I also have an aquatic <laughs> biology bachelor's. It's what my concentration was in. in undergrad. Plus years of experience. Yeah, I've worked in the animal f care field for 10 years. Same. Because I was 24. I started I, in the field in 2014. When I got my first job. I got my first internship in the summer of 2014. And I've been doing it ever since. So I've also been in the field 10 years. I guess I technically started the Conservation Center in Alaska in 2013. Oh, true. Started. Is she yeah. asleep? Yep. She tired. She did a lot today. Had a big day. Wait, how old is she? I keep thinking Lindsay is a lot younger. I am 32. I am 34. I graduated with my undergrad in 2014. But thank you for thinking I'm younger. I graduated in 2011. I graduated high school in 2007. I graduated high school in 2010. I was young for my class. I was one of those kids. Yeah, I was one of the older ones. I started school when I was four. Tiny bean. I had right. just turned five or six. I turned five in kindergarten. I turned six in kindergarten. 30s club. What, what? Well, yep. 30 and thriving. Kind of. Not really. We're going to go see all the reptiles. Okay. We're going to feed toast. Mm -hmm. We're going to feed toast. Gonna feed toast. Look at these fancy things. Nick just insulted Can you please why? not? Like, why? what is your deal? Fuck you right off. See, no. this is what you don't see of Beetle. Force field. But she's literally just a monster. Hi, Kylie. You're nice. Like you. Good goat. I just washed my hands. Though. I was five in 2007. Nice. Lucky you. Ugh. Okay. Do not. There we go. George. I hate goats. He's in there. I just want everybody to know. They are the snakes get fed animals. on not today. But we will take the snakes out so you can see them today. Yep. So. All right. There's a toasty. Toaster? I should have brought this over to weigh a toast today. But sometimes toast isn't too keen. Uh, so what, what we've been doing with toast. Um, if you look at Toast's little face there, you can see kind of a little scab on his little nose, their little nose. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been keeping it clean with Betadine just in case because Do you want me I to don't want it to camera? get infected at all. I can make it so. It's fine. I don't really have a plan for Toast. I was just, I've just been trying to, first of all, I got to see how motivated they are. Also true. But sometimes for the Rupashi, they're less... I've noticed. Less animated than they are for the, uh... I have Do you need some fresh water? Did you eat all of your salad? Hey, yay. Holy moly. Wow. Maybe it's just because it's been in here for so long. <laughs> Hi. Can I take this out so we can give you some fresh water today? Thank you. Toast is going to be grumpy about this. He doesn't like it. 
They don't like it. It's not for them. Okay, hold on. I am the oldest of my siblings of, and of my friends at 21. Mm. Youngins. The older I get, the more I realize how young I was. <laughs> Everything I did intensely, young. I now understand hey, as an older Do you want some more fashion? Did so? You know what's funnier than 24? 25! I'm in a new bracket, I think. I think the like it's like twenty nine to thirty four or something. So like this year I get a new bracket. Yeah. Do you want this? <laughs> Does not want it. There Is you go. not impressed. Why don't you want your rapashi? Here, can you eat it off this? Here. Eat this. Toaster should be so stoked about rapashi. Remember? Nope. Now Toaster's like whatever. Why? Okay, we're leveling up in the statistics. I try. When I, I genuinely though, mean it when I say that I have not hit an age that I'm like bummed that I've hit. Not just because the alternative is obviously worse, um, which would be not hitting that age. <laughs> um, That's so true. Dose is like, no, I don't want this. Please. Does not want Rupash, you guys. Okay, so the, one, get off my porch. <laughs> the toast <laughs> session may not happen if Toast does not want their Rupash. Um, but I do still have to treat Toast's face, which they are not going to like. So if anybody was wondering what happens when an animal does not want to participate, but something still has to be done, unfortunately, he's just going to get scooped. <laughs> hey, Toast. Can done. you come out? I just want to make sure that you're okay in here. Can I see your little? It actually looks really good. It looks really good. Oh, sorry. It's been a hot while since Toast has been able to roam Echo. And we just got all the stuff going on. There's a lot going on, but also Toast got themselves out of the playpen. So, cannot leave unsupervised, which makes it harder, because we don't have a lot of free time. Yeah. Good job. That's nice. Does like to roam, though. Can I go say hi to chat? Is cruising. All right, I'm just gonna put the rapashi on here. And I have to figure out something to do for you, Toast, or maybe just do separate training sessions throughout the week with, because they like the chicken better. They do like the chicken in control with me. So maybe that's just what we'll have to do. Separate sessions. I just need you to eat the rapashi because it's good for you. Spot on it. On him. When he looked up, you could see the little spot on his face. Oh yeah, no, it's it's a, it looks like a little scab, yeah, for sure. All right, do you want to keep track of toast while I go get water for them? I love sloths. Oh, bless you, sir. I love sloths. Or a sloth person. I don't know. There are so many things on Twitch that I do not understand. You're talking about the animal sloths. I love them so much. Uh, so yeah, Maya started all this. Will you ever get salamanders? <laughs> I don't think so. Did my mic shut off? No, it's on. It's lit. It's lit. Toast only eats twice a week, guys. Can you not hear me? Hello? Gets fed twice a week. Can you hear me now? Here, Lindsay, you can take this. Because I'm going to go do it. The lights are on, so I don't know why you can't hear me. It's true. Oh, I have not seen Maya's new video. No. 
Oh, Toast is gone. We lost him. I quite literally lost him. Toast? Oh, I found Toast. Toast having a great time. Toast is having a great time. We gotta get new temperature readers. I hate these ones. I switched with Kayla, so you should be able to hear me quite better now. Alright. <laughs> yeah, no salamanders. I don't feel bad for saying that. Nope. All right, I'll be right back. Reed broke the glass cover on the phone. Not the phone, just the cover. He tried to steal it. I think chat and Noodle is it. doing pretty the well. We haven't found any mice still on her for a couple weeks now, which is the most amazing thing in the world. Uh. All of the animals were named, some of them were named off of ideas from you guys, chat, and then others we kind of had an idea of already. Hi, Polly. Dude, if the Irwins were in chat, I would die. I love them so much. Hello, Irwins, if you are here. I love you. Please recognize us. Yeah, you're not wrong, casual. I'm pretty sure that's how Toast got his name, Toaster Strudel. He is kind of like a canoe with legs. His legs are so tiny, look at his little push-up. Look at that push-up. Oh my god, you guys need to stop giving me hope about things like that. Ah, I dropped you. Toast? Thank you, Polly. Excuse me. Goodbye, Toast. I don't know what that means. That was rude. I don't break things on purpose, anyway. Toast is gone. Just kidding, Toast is right there. Okay. Toast is picking out. Is Toast having the time of their life? Toast is. He uses his legs. His name is Robert. He doesn't go by Bob. That was his grandfather. Learned your Irwin facts, guys. What? What? Someone's talking, like, I don't know if they are from Australia, but someone's name was Steve, and they were like, Crikey, <laughs> Toast is on the moon. <laughs> yes. Toast and then I was, and then someone was like, could you imagine if the Irwins are in chat? And I was like, if the Irwins are. That would are. really give me a lot of anxiety. I was like, if the never... Irwins are in chat, please know that I love you so much, and I, I respect you. <laughs> and I lost my train of thought after that. I love I the Irwins. They are very poop. They are nice minute. people. Have you guys seen a toast poop in a minute? I have not seen a toast poop. Now that you mention that, it's quite easier to notice. Toast is under the sink. As long as they're happy. Toast is gone. All right. As long as he's not gone. I don't know. Do they still do their TV show Echo? I'm gonna need toast to give me a poop. I need toast it. Toast does poop. I need them to poop. I need it, toast. The silver back would always win. Why? Who is Steve Irwin Jr.? Hit. Hit. Oh, I found toast. Crushing it. Alright. There's toast. Water. Mix this up a little bit. Some humidity <gasps> over here. Tap, oh, hi, Toast. 
Toast. Hi, friend. You mean Robert? Robert and Bindi? How's it going? We learn all of them. Some know more than others about things. Yeah, so we great. all come from different backgrounds, and we all kind of have different uh, specialties where animals are concerned. So my background and Lindsay's background as well Where's is primarily in birds of prey. Um, so that means when I came to Alveus, <laughs> it was a steep learning curve. <laughs> yep. Same. Um, and it's still a steep learning curve. I'm learning things every single day. Mm -hmm. um, but before we get any of the ambassadors, we make sure that we have the resources to take care of them, and that resources include staff and, term and as well as everything else they need. Um, so everything husbandry related, we have a vet on call at all times. Um, Stompy is not a bird of prey. Stompy is not a bird of prey. Upside down toast. Um. <laughs> Um, so right now, for the people who are new here, uh, this is Toast's temporary enclosure. Uh, we have a carpet python that is currently behind Lindsay um, that we've struggled with mites. Uh, she's now, we believe, not on is. wood. Fingers crossed. Um, hopefully without mites. And these enclosures Toast around climbing. us in this room. Um, please don't go back there. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I don't know if there's space between the wall, so I don't know if it would be wise for us what, to you let don't, them get back You don't there. like being upside down, um, um, Nix? So, um, the enclosures behind me and behind Toast's current enclosure are what they're going to be moved into. Um, so this one that Lindsay's pointing about now is going to be for our carpet python noodle. Um, this one behind me down here is going to be for toast, and this one up here is going to be for our ball python patchy. Um, so we're in the process of getting all of the lights ordered for them and doing the final designs before we actually get started. And then they'll be moved, which will be really nice. <laughs> yep. We're really sick of having them in sterile containers. Um, we actually very recently gave toast and patchy substrate back. Um, for anybody who hasn't dealt with mites, it's awful. Would not recommend. Zero Terrible. out of ten. Negative ten out of ten. Yep, they are 90% um, done. <laughs> they, for, I mean, we have plans for all of them. We have plants selected. We have two um, We are in the works with our advisor to get a water feature for Noodle that I think is going to be quite dramatic. Uh, so that's amazing. A, that's a big thing for us. Um, when we talked to them, I think Connor was just like, why are you making things harder? And I was like, because Noodle deserves the whole world in this enclosure. <laughs> it's really big, guys. It is really big. Um, so we're going to do our best to give her a really neat water feature. Um, but yeah, Noodle's had a really long journey with the mites. Um, can I sponsor a TV for Toast to watch Animal Planet? <laughs> Look at Toast. Cruising. Having a time. Going. Be so fast. So fast. So speedy. Uh, stand in it for comparison. It's, I could put on a play in here. Okay? It doesn't even touch your... Like, hold your hand up. But, like... I think it's, like, six feet tall. Yeah, I think it's six feet tall, four like, feet deep. Yeah, and, and like 10, 8 feet wide? 8 feet wide. 8 feet wide. She's going to have the best time. So. 1.05 um, Kayla's. <laughs> and uh, it'll have obviously lots of vertical climbing space for Noodle because she is an arboreal that's, snake. That's a 3 Kayla um, room. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. I could put a mattress in there and sleep in there just fine. <laughs> yep. Um, you could probably fit a uh, full size in there. Noodle is a carpet python. You see your toast like scurrying around. <laughs> yep. um, Connor could live in that for 24 hours for a challenge. Uh, he could. Definitely could. If you pay him enough money, I'm sure he would. <laughs> yep. Hopefully, Noodle will be in there before the next <laughs> subathon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so lots of vertical space, water feature, um, lots of lights. There's so many lights for each of these enclosures. <laughs> yes, um, new challenge. Noodle's enclosure. Finished by summer, or Connor sleeps in it. To make sure... That's actually not a bad one. Uh, <laughs> to make sure that... Um, uh, no, Noodle is not blind. Patchy only has one eye. I'm sorry, Toast. I didn't mean to scare you. 
You were just really funny behind the trash can. She was born with only one eye. I've seen that size used a lot for boas and anacondas, so noodles really getting spoiled good. Yeah, I mean, like, there was a time chat when we literally were like, can we just build this entire wall space for noodle? Um, I don't think we really knew how to make that happen, but no. there was a lot of crazy talk about things that we could do to give noodle more space. This is the most reasonable, and we still feel good about the size. Based on your studies, what's your favorite bird of prey? Old world vultures are still considered birds of prey, right? I think so. They're still in there. I think new world vultures are too, actually. Yeah, I think the only one... Uh, they're even talking about uh, adding Sariamas. I think Sariamas have been added. I think so. I think you're... Yeah. Um, I'm really partial, and I think it's just because it's the first bird that I ever worked with that I really fell in love with. Um, but my favorite bird of prey is probably the Egyptian vulture. Followed closely... I love Favorite it. bird of prey? Like I would say... Vultures. That the I'm crested, uh, I would, I would imagine, I would enjoy working with any caracara species, but I really loved working with the crested caracara that I worked with. I literally got lost so. on a Belize, in Belize, on a river because I found a king vulture, and I just stayed and stared at it, and then everybody left, and then I want some person. They actually sent one of the guides back to find me because I was still staring at the king Favorite vulture. Favorite bird of prey that I haven't worked with. Um, are pelicans birds of prey or seagulls? No end, no. No, they are considered waterfowl. Water um, birds. Water, that sounds fun. Water birds. Thanks, Lake, for that gifted sub. Um, I also, I think when I was in Nepal and we went to the vulture restaurants, and I, I think I was the most in awe of the scenarius vultures. They're so it was wild seeing them in the wild. It like, it so, was I would crazy. love to go to a vulture cafe. You would lose your mind. I would lose my you mind. You would lose your whole mind. I, I want, saw wild I um, want to do it so bad. red-headed vultures. <gasps> uh, a lot of Himalayan griffin I love vultures. That so much. I want to go so bad now. Okay. All right, new, new goal. Go to Nepal to see one of those. I can talk. I love talking about birds. Uh, I, we talk a lot about vultures here, so if you like hearing about vultures, <laughs> do. Um, I'm very, very biased. Um, Those does have scales. They're just a little bit introduction different. Introduction to the bird of prey world and the vulture crisis is a, a Big cause one. that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, Big one. And I love talking about it. And I love working with vultures. Backing They're up. incredibly smart. They're Backing so charismatic. Um, the hope is that Alveus will have one eventually. Is goal. Vulture restaurant, is that a thing? Uh, yes. Yes. Vultures do eat dead animals. Some of them also eat living animals and insects and fruit. There are vultures that eat fruit. Um, but vulture restaurants, the ones that I went to, I would imagine that there's a toast, having a time, doing a great job. Um, the vulture, I, I lived and worked in Nepal. ready to go home are you ready to eat i think we're back are you ready can we get noodle out i oh, sorry space I... are we back or did i fuck up we back um... saved. saved saved i think we're back i think I, I think you're a little less in health with this situation saved we're All saved right. so i was talking about vulture restaurants um yes. so the vulture crisis in asia uh, saw the decline of several species of vulture, well over 90% of their yeah, vulture popu crazy. populations. Um, so what they did is they set up vulture restaurants. Toast looking up at so cute. And Someone vulture screenshot safe this. Look at Toast looking up at Kayla. <laughs> and vultures safe feeding zones. Um, so the cause of the vulture crisis in Asia was actually due to a drug that was used on cattle called diclofenac, which is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that vultures can't metabolize. Um, so it causes liver and kidney failure. Uh, the problem with diclofenac is that um, these vultures would consume um, the carcass and the tainted meat, uh, but they wouldn't die at the carcass. 
so they were just finding vultures all over the place, so they didn't have, like, a call, like, a root cause that was obvious. Hi, buddy. Um, so it took years for them to determine that the cause was diclofenac. <laughs> Hello. Um, and once they did, they obviously banned diclofenac, uh, introduced vulture-safe drugs. Diclofenac was still used for a really long time, even though it was banned, because uh, it's hard to regulate something like that. Um, but it was a drug yeah. that was just used for aging cattle um, because they don't. Um, Post is gone. They don't <laughs> consume their cows over there. So when cows would pass away, um, they would just drag them out to the edges of the cities, and the vultures were their cleanup crew. Um, so many, many, uh, many cows, uh, which led to a pretty stellar vulture population. Hi, I'm just going to direct you this way. I know. No. I know. <laughs> um, I just don't want you to go behind an enclosure. Um, so these vulture restaurants, essentially they were set up in vulture safe zones where people could take their aging cows and they would pass away naturally and then they would serve as reliable meals for vultures in those areas. And what they did was they set up um, like hides where people could come and watch the vultures do what they do best, which is clean Eat. up the carcass. Um, so the, when I was there working, we got to go to a vulture restaurant that um, our project uh, contributed money towards, donated money to, uh, and we got to see vultures in action. So I think the most that I saw at a carcass was probably 60 to 80 vultures, and it was gone in two hours, the whole cow. I want to go. So uh, really wild. I want to go so bad. Maybe I'll do that next year. It's a lot of money I gotta save up. <laughs> Vulture safe zones, they're not like, they're just spaces where there was no diclofenac. So if they create a space with kind of a, not regular feeding, because obviously the cows pass away when they pass away, um, but if they know that they can get food there, um, they'll come back to that spot. And it's a way that the people who are trying to work to save the vultures know that they're, they have access to a safe food source. Um, so there were a couple nesting pairs that were, that lived nearby. If you teach me how to vlog it, I will vlog it. Honestly, I think I might try and vlog uh, my trip to Mexico this year for you guys. And then have Connor or Space help me. Thank you for do being the rest passionate about I do this. not know how to do that. This is what I love. Space, if you're listening, can you help me edit a vlog of my trip to Mexico this year? Talking about <laughs> animals. Hi. Are you having the best time? Bless you. It's dusty down there. <laughs> it is very dusty. <laughs> Sorry, toast. Lindsay, can you show us the whiteboard behind Kayla? Oh, that was a dono board for something. Mm. I, don't know, I don't know what it was for, but. I think it was from a fundraiser, is what Maya told me. Do you want a ball? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Here, like this. It's coming. For it toast. <laughs> so much to explore. Those is gone. Cruising. Oh, I clicked a thing. There we go. We're back. How many people work here? Um, I think there's a lot of people that do, there's more people I think that do behind the scenes work that I don't know, but as far as how many people actually work on site taking care of the animals and the operations here, um, there is one, two, three, six, seven of six, us? Seven? Soon to be eight of us. Yes. Nine. Nine. Ella, Lindsay, Flip. Kayla, Julie, Flip. Mm. Yeah. Nine. There'll be nine of us on site yeah. come April. Yeah. So, um, and we take care of 35 to 40 individuals, if you don't count the cockroaches or the yeah. isopods. <laughs> There's probably at least a hundred in just the isopods of the zebra isopods I, there's, alone. There's hundreds. There's hundreds. Toast, don't get any ideas. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Um, yeah, we, um, do you want to go home? 
There's food in there. Is that what you want? I can help. I got to scoop you. I'm sorry. The hope is that when you have your new enclosure, we'll have ramps for you so that you don't have to be scooped. So that it's all voluntary, my friend. Zebra isopods. Is the roach enclosure that's on cam mixed barbers and baked beans? Yes, um, it's the there's the one that has the babies in it. Yeah, so they are male and female, but hopefully no very few breeding males. Are you ready yeah, to go they're home? They're all mothers that had just get, that or that just had birth. I'm trying to give you the option to go home, but in order to do that, you gotta crawl into my hands, and I don't think you're going to. And I, I, you ready? Is your little scoop? Whoop! Whoop. <laughs> Eat, please. First thirsty. It's a little sip. Can you please eat some? Was there ever a final decision on the owl debate? What was the owl what debate? What was the owl debate? Remind me. I gotta sneeze. How do you understand when he wants to go back inside? Uh, mostly, he was just, he had his, his, there, their snout there. against the glass over We don't here. know the gender of um, toast. Present. Yeah, we don't know toast gender. It's not important that we know, so we've just kind of decided that yep. we, if, as long as from a, a husbandry perspective and, like, providing the best care for toast, if we don't need to know, then we don't care. Um, no, they then. Would prefer you not get Where are you going? <laughs> having a time. Um, Thank you. Who cares if... Who takes care of Connor? Oh, setting up an owl box. Uh, yeah. I don't, we decided not to do it in the pasture. Um, but, um, yeah, Toast's behavior is, it's more, I think, I think we could leave Toast out full time and Toast would prefer that, um, just safety wise. The fact that he was pressing and I wasn't sure if they were hungry because they can see the food from there. So, but obviously not hungry. It's not a science. It is a science, but I haven't worked it out yet, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, there's a lot of neat things that I would like to do with the reptiles in terms of training. Uh, Toast is target trained. is phenomenal with the target. Toast is target um, trained. I think there's a lot more we can do with Toast after we move them to this big enclosure. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I zoned in on Toast. Uh, target train just means essentially um, we provide, so in Toast's oh, case, toe. it's yeah, kind of a little, a little sphere that's at the end of a stick. Um, and it's essentially once we show Toast the target, if they show interest in that target, we provide reinforcement, typically in the form of food, um, because that's something that's very positive to associate with that target. Uh, and essentially, any time that the animal sees that target, they know if they come to it, they get food. So it's a way for Toast to decide to interact or to enter a situation mm -hmm. where we're not always having to pick them up and move them. Um, mm -hmm. Gives them a chance to decide whether or not they want to interact or come out or things like that. So Toast is actually target trained. Uh, and they weren't interested in their food today, unfortunately. Uh, but typically to take them out, what I do is kind of hold food up my hand a little bit. And they walk onto my hand for me to take them out or put them back. Um, today, unfortunately, with them not being interested, that wasn't an option. Um, but the hope is that the interactions that we have to have with them, we can create stimuli and provide motivation for them that makes it a much more voluntary uh, interaction on their part. They're very smart. They're capable of doing many things. We just have to figure out how to communicate with them so that they can show us. So it's kind of like creating a new language between us and them. Mm -hmm. They're our co-workers. <laughs> yep. So. Who gets a free ride. <laughs> yeah. Who we take care of. Yes, Toast is non-binary lizard representation. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. the key, finding a way to understand each other. Exactly. Exactly. Um, no, I do not speak skink, and unfortunately Toast doesn't speak English, so we have to learn together. It's like the book Project Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I knew that was happening. <laughs> <laughs> we just have to find something that we both understand. Um, I think historically, uh, working with, like, and people say very similar things about, um, like, birds of prey. 
Um, when they you don't, speak speeder. They don't show expression as easily. So no. with some animals, you can tell. Like, they do very obvious things when they're, like, motivated or ready. Um, I think with the reptiles, it's a little bit less noticeable. Um, and obviously, they don't eat as frequently because their metabolisms are much, much slower. So it can take, I think, more time and more patience. But um, the hope is that we can do a lot with toast, patchy, and noodle. Um, and I think Push Pop is going to want to do, I think we'll be able to do so much with Push Pop. Oh, yeah. She's going to be, I think, a machine. Everyone's saying such a good book. <laughs> Why slash how are vultures endangered? <laughs> how? Our battery on the phone is not going to last that long. <laughs> we should get another animal out to talk about this. Um, maybe we can take, uh, we can get Noodle out real quick. I just want to make sure Patchy's okay. One of us can take Patchy and one of us can take Noodle. Okay. And we can sit down or something. I don't know. I just can't. Um, we have done a subathon. We have done two subathons. Does Toast have the brain power to learn tricks? Uh, he definitely, they definitely have the brain power to learn. Uh, we wouldn't call them tricks. Um, They're just, behaviors. Um, that's just word preference. Yeah. Um, but definitely we want them to learn things that will make their husbandry easier. So typically, again, when I do the beta nine, what I will do is I will bring like their chicken snack in there or something like that, and I will touch and then feed immediately. Um, to let them know, hey, something's going to touch your face, and then you're going to get something delicious for it. Yay! Yeah. Um, again, today, just unfortunately not interested in their food right now. Nope. Um, but, uh... We could use the nut house can for a good discussion. We could. Uh, we can't take the snakes in there, though, right now. We cannot. Because Push Pop's in there. The so snakes we can, will not go in there. We can show you guys the snakes real quick. Um, I need to cut the stuff. It's Noodle! Noodle! It's Noodle. Noodle. Uh, yes, vultures do eat carcasses. Um, this for you. Hey, sweetie. You need to come out and say hi. You got a fly on you. I hate the flies Stupid in here. flies. Stupid flies. Noodle. This is Noodle. Noodle. Here she is. Man. She's displeased. Yes. She's been a lot more um, present recently, Trap. I actually noticed some, like, white buildup on her, and I was like, oh, no. And then I realized that I think it was just from, like, the humidifier and the calcium, like, the uh, minerals in the water. Yeah. Um, Hi. How you doing? Missed you. Missed you. Yeah. You say hi? Noodle. <laughs> um, so vultures, there are 23 different species of vulture. Um, 16 of them are considered threatened, endangered, or vulnerable to extinction. There are several species that we could lose in my lifetime. If we are not careful. Yep. I'm going to put you up for a quick sec check. I have no idea what you're looking at while I get patchy. A smaller snake. Smaller snake. Any risks of biting? Um... Noodle, chat wants you to know that they love you. <laughs> Noodle, chat wants you to know that she's grumpy. <laughs> Patchy? Hi, Patchy. Would you like to come out? Noodle may be reasonably big, but Kayla's way beyond what Noodle would eat. Yeah. Um, yeah, if, if I were to do something that made her, like... Snakes aren't, like, people talk about being nervous about being bit by snakes, but generally experiences with, with snakes, um, a strike is going to be a defensive behavior. So if you spook them or something like that, Do you come um, they're more scared of us than I think people realize. Yeah. Um, we've never had any issues with noodle being bitey. 
Can't touch. Um, and if she seemed to be very agitated, if she were to coil up really tightly or something like that and seem obviously like, I'm not about this, I would put her back. Good. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, it's okay. Typically, she settles really nicely. Um, noodle story is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, she was... She came to us from a zoo. Oh, I see some urates. Yay! We love urates. Hatchy. Um, noodle came to us from a zoo, and she was housed in an enclosure that was really, really, really tiny. Um... Far too tiny for a snake this size. Um, and she had never really been handled. Um, Patchy! Um, she had never really been handled. So when we, when I first like started to... working here, um, huh, throw this away. Uh, um, we didn't really know what to expect as far as handling Noodle went. And we didn't really push her to be handled very often because of her past. Um, but she still never really gave us grief in terms of... Oh, she's growing. She's cruising. She wants to go. Noodle, you want to go outside? How We're about we to about lose the phone. Braving the... Oh, all right. Patty. We'll just stay here until the, the phone dies. <laughs> Um, she's really sprawled and she's like, whatever. I'm living up, living it up. Um, you can see here on her tail, she's really like, I'm just going to sprawl out. All right, Noodle, you can see her tail has some stuck shed residual damage from where she probably couldn't get out of it at the, in the small enclosure that she was in. Miss mm -hmm. ma'am, you are. Where are you going? <laughs> can't see the most recent things on the phone. <laughs> uh, are the snakes chill with seeing each other? I don't think they've really ever been like this close to each other before. I don't think so. But I don't think Noodle gives a crap. Patchy's a pretty easygoing snake. She's pretty, uh... Noodle does want to stretch out. Is choosing what chat sees. What Kayla sees up chat. Watching the way you handle it, that you can handle it without getting her upset enough about it uh, to threaten you has made me way less afraid of a snake biting me. Yeah, like, you have to, I think, really... There's just a, You're more likely to get you. bit by a snake trying to do harm to a snake. Yeah, trying to, like, relocate it. Yeah, trying to <laughs> relocate. So... What, handle any of that? And the wild ones that are not used to humans. Patchy is so darn cute. Yes, yeah, she is. Here she is again. Patchy! The goats I saw before, are they... They are free roaming around. They are. They've got the run of the place. They do. Sweet girl. How you doing? Hi. You're very cute. These snakes are the best. I don't know what noodle's pressing. I, I would honestly be more scared of the so goats cool. than I would the snakes because the goats do so much more harm. <laughs> They really do. I have, I have really bruises there, from that. I probably would have a bruise from freaking Beetle today. They're out for blood. The goats. I'm going to give Noodle a soak soon. Hey, sweetie. Did you slither over your last meal that you ignored? I think so. She's got stuff on her. What a delightful creature you How are. How nice of her. So when Noodle first got Mites chat, um, we had no choice but to handle her a lot. Um, and as a result, she's gotten much more... Sorry, sweetie. Um, I would like to know how we got our vet. How we got our vet? Mm -hmm. Called around. Um, we got really lucky with our vet. Noodle, why? <laughs> Where are you going? Why? 
Um, yeah, um, I, there are vets that will be listed as like exotics. We are really lucky with our vet. We all really love her. Um, Apparently Noodle's banning people. Oh, sorry, Noodle. Okay, hold on, chat, hold on. They want to be banned by Noodle. They want to be banned by Noodle. <laughs> they want to be banned by Noodle. Um, yeah, sorry, chat. Nobody's banning anybody right now uh, except Noodle. If you have been banned in the last couple it's, it's entirely minutes, noodle. it's Noodle. You were banned by Noodle. <laughs> um, our vet, we, uh, we adore her. Um, and is the best. Not only is she, she comes out here for physicals for the animals, so like we don't have to traumatize them by taking them somewhere um, unless it's an emergency. Hey, Noodle, sorry. Uh, I just wanted to put this down. <laughs> um, and, uh, <laughs> ma'am. Sunshine was banned because of Noodle. Sorry, Sunshine. Uh, noodle had opinions. Yeah, Noodle um, has been banning people without our knowledge. So, uh, Connor's the one who found our vet, but she was listed, I think, as an exotic vet, and then obviously we talked to her about our situation, and she was really excited to come on and help us out, and she's really enthusiastic about um, any new animals. We always talk to her before we get new ambassadors to make sure she is. Um, that she's comfortable taking them on. If not, we find another oh. vet. Okay, um, sorry. But she's always, she's really eager to learn, and she's got connections. Ooh, upside down. <laughs> um, so she'll reach out and Patchy just give us advice it. if we are unsure about anything. She's really phenomenal. Hi. It has been a little while since she shed, right? Yeah. Yeah. These are the spots that I was talking about. Oh, yeah, I see it. You cannot go to the broom, ma'am. Do carpet pythons have spurs? Not that I am aware of. Yeah, she might have spurs. Does she? No. I don't think I've seen. I don't think she does. I don't think I've seen any. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that was very personal. Thank you. If Patchy had the broom, we would not, it would be a hot minute before we got Patchy back. Noodle actually hasn't eaten since November. November. But before that, she hadn't eaten for nine months. Yep. Coming from a uh, bird of prey situation where they eat pretty much every day, reptile care is quite stressful for me. Yep. Because they don't. Not only do they not eat every day, but most of them, it wouldn't be a good idea for them to eat every day because their metabolisms are slower. Mm -hmm. We offer a rat to noodle every week. Every week. It is her like option if she wants to eat it. Awesome. If she eats it, we would go probably like two weeks. Why are you stretching out? Patchy yeah. here eats every other week, so yeah. it is actually Patchy's actually a pretty chunky little snake. She is. She is actually due to be fed this Thursday, mm -hmm. and then she won't be fed again for another two weeks. You could poop, Patchy. It would you be said. nice if she pooped. She's got sausage butt. Patchy does. Sausage butt. You need yeah. to. You need to poop. If your thirteen-year-old self could see right now, what uh, see right now? What would their, what would their reaction be? Mm. Why are you not with sharks? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think my thirteen-year-old self would be surprised. Maybe at the fact that it's with so many different animals. Um, patchy on the. I've always loved animals. So it's not, it wouldn't have been a shock that I ended up in this line of work. Um, I think my 13 year old self would be like, what the heck are you doing in the state of Texas? Yeah. Uh, most people have that response that grew up with me. They're like, you live in the South? <laughs> and I'm like, not only do I live in the South, but I've lived in the South for like years, years. 
Almost, um, a, I don't almost, like the almost heat. a decade. Yeah, I don't like the heat, chat. So, hi. That's nice. That's nice. A nice little hug. Um, that would, I think, be way more... Uh, so she's, she's and that thousands of her. people watch you do your job. Yeah, that part's, I guess, That weird. part is weird. I that part am would not used to that. And uh, so. I, uh, it surprises me all the time. I honestly forget you're there. And then I say stuff, and then they're like, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> be nice to the goats. <laughs> Let the record show that I tried to be exceptionally nice to the goats. I get yelled at for being mean to Acero, even though he is an asshole. It's just because we can't always control when people are coming or going. So yeah. you got to make sure that... You are always lurking, honeybee. Lindsay, was the streamer awards a shock? Yes. I have never dressed up that nice in my life, and I probably won't again until my wedding. And I'm not even dating anybody. Thank you, chat, for agreeing and backing me up on being <laughs> mean to a zero. Yeah, snake poops are, I mean, they're, they're pretty normal-looking poops, typically. They can have a lot of fur in them, depending on, like, their diet. Yep. Reed is available. Reed is my work husband. <laughs> Ella was your date. <laughs> Ella was my date. We had a great time. I, I knew absolutely I nobody there I <laughs> except I for ever, two people. I don't people. think I worry too much about leaking information. I think I'm pretty good about that. Maybe not great, but I think I'm pretty good about that. But I sing a lot. <laughs> and that's just... Patch <laughs> decided to just come into frame. <laughs> Kaiju's like, look at my missing eyeball. Hi, Noodle. Close up on Patchy. <laughs> Wait, I was cooking. Did I hear Lindsay is single? <laughs> I am single, Ben. <laughs> Patchy wants to sing too. That's actually Noodle making noises. Patchy just wants her close up. Right now, the, uh, the podcast that Kayla and I both are listening to right now is actually National, National Park, Park After Dark. Dark. <laughs> uh, I listen to the podcast Maintenance Phase a lot. Like, I will replay episodes of Maintenance Phase because I think it's hilarious and I You are bending my fingers in directions I don't know. I learn something new every time. I don't know what Patchy is trying to do. She is so stretched out trying to get to this phone. Yeah, sorry that you guys have to put up with my singing. Feel free to obviously mute me anytime, which I'm sure you do. <laughs> I just like singing. I sing a lot. Noodle. That This podcast will kill you is also a really good podcast. Patchy, please, I'm trying to think of other podcasts don't. that I've listened to. I've been trying to find a good book one, but I haven't found a good book one. I've been I listening to the last podcast on the left a lot before oh, I started. Recommended to me. I haven't listened to it yet. Which one? Last, last podcast on the left. You've listened to some of it. You you said you have. I it's... don't think. I, I, I think it was recommended to me when Connor and I were streaming. I listen to it all the time. I listen to uh, oh, Wicked Words. Wicked Words is a really good one. Wicked Words. Cool necklace, Kayla. It's a snake. It's Noodle. Snake. She's very chill right now. I feel. She just, you know. They like it. I'm glad other people listen to last podcast. I get, try and listen to it only on my headphones because they say very questionable things. And I feel like chat shouldn't listen to some of it sometimes. This is a carpet python. But that's a ball python. The one that Lindsay's holding. <laughs> I'm still on there, like, I think I'm only, like, 150 episodes in on last podcast. Out of the, like, over 500 they have, so I'm still... I started at the very beginning, just like I'm doing right now with... National Park After Dark. I think I'm only on episode 20. 99% Invisible is my go-to podcast. Well, I haven't heard Noodle that is one. fully receiving your vocal vibrations, right? <laughs> Kayla, your scarf is running away. 
don't know. Noodle what. is really, really. Uh, I don't know where Patchy thinks she's going. Really good at um, Patchy can't testing play gravity. She is really good about testing gravity. Patchy is just hanging out, quite literally. I don't know where Patchy is trying to go. To the broomstick. I need you to stay on me, ma'am. Stretch. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. She's <laughs> so curious about nude. This man. She would like you to look at her. Do they body. get to slither on the floor? So yeah, um, on a day that's not today, Chat. that would be a thing that we could do. Patchy is climbing um, you right now. Noodle, you're pushing the microphone into my neck, and that's kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> Patchy just zoomed in on you. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, Patchy, where, what is happening? What are you trying to watch? Because of Noodle's <laughs> mite situation, we haven't put her down on any surface of time inside her enclosure that no. the other reptiles have access to. Well, I would say you can watch things, but you're watching Patchy's. <laughs> <laughs> there is no void. It is Patchy's belly. <laughs> Noodle, can I take this microphone off? You can kind of sort of see Kayla. Ugh. Everything you see is right, patchy right, right now. They can kind of see you, Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> patchy having a good time. There is no void. It is just patchy void. Noodle. Can I just check under some of your scales, please? Muffled noises. That is straight patchy snake. right now. That's snake. The snake noises. Snake. She's sniffing my head right now. It's really cute. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, sorry. I didn't mean to. Approach. Patchy is constricting chat. I'm sorry. I think she likes it because the phone is warm. It's true. <laughs> she's straight up on you now chat have we ever heard patchy hiss i don't think i have i don't know if i have i've never heard patchy hiss <laughs> i don't know what's happening to the phone right now because patchy is patchy is Yep. Everybody say hello to Patchy. She is now in control of chat. And the stream now. Take me into dinner for Patchy. <laughs> we have now She broke the mics. We're on the phone mic now. Well, chat, if it was I think it's been a pretty successful keeping. I think 